what's up guys? I am Eric in Puzzle Piece. And today I am going to be introducing a new kind of feel. A feel where I express my stories. My past stories. The stories I have lived, whether they are embarrassing, whether they are just plain stupid, or whether they're just a good time. All I know is, is that allergies are just killing me, and I've had a headache for like over a week. But it doesn't mean I can't tell a story! So here's the kicker to the series. Arrogant Puzzle Pieces Life Stories. So today I feel like expressing uh, the story of when I ripped my pants. Honestly, it's a short story, but I feel like I have a little bit of a story to try to lead up to that point. So when I was a kid, I was always a sporty guy. I grew up playing a bunch of sports, mostly baseball. I've played baseball since I was four years old, stopped at 18 because I threw my arm out. Uh, for two years, I played hockey, goalie first year, defenseman the second. I never joined any basketball leagues or any football leagues, even though I, you know, I played with friends. But there was one year within those years of baseball where I played soccer. It was indoor soccer, but it was a fantastic year. So with my first year playing soccer, um, I tried just, you know, playing, you know, one of the, you know, one of the fielders. I tried to be a guy that could score goals, block every ball that came by me. But instead, my very first game, I uh, bonked heads with someone. So eventually down the line, because we had about like 12 to 15 players on one team, and indoor soccer is 5-on-5, five five, like hockey, with one goalie on each end, so 6 players in total on the playfield. One day, we were facing the very best team in the league, and I say they were the best that every game we saw them play, they always won. They were the biggest team, they looked huge when we faced them the second time. We only had five players in total out of the 12 to 15. And we were like, oh no, we are so going to die. We're going to lose. And the funny thing is, they got to play full strength. They got five forwards, one goalie. And we had four forwards and one goalie. So with that season, I didn't really want to play goalie because I think before that I did play hockey and I've already played goalie, had fun with it. But I wanted to actually score. But that one game... I was thrown in the net, and surprisingly, out of that whole game, I got a shutout. I think the score was like 2 nothing, or 2-0. Two 2-0. Nil. Two nil. And with that game, it, that just struck something in, uh, in the coach's head, saying, you know what? Let's keep APP in net. Hey! So from then to the end, I played goalie. I played so many games in net that that year. Got so many shutouts uh, with me in net. I we we made it to the playoffs. And the first time I get scored on, it was in the semifinals. They scored on me first. It was one nothing. I was getting nervous, mostly because this is the semifinals. If we lose, we don't go on. But eventually, my team scored and saved me arse. So we played a couple extra minutes of uh, overtime, and eventually, it came down to a shootout. Everybody on each team, I kid you not, everybody took shots. You know, this is the most Canadian, Canadian, this is the most Canadian thing I have ever really truly experienced, is I was playing goalie for soccer, and during those shootouts, my coach says, Do the butterfly. Be like a hockey goalie. Do the butterfly. Well, it was something I was familiar with, so I said, Okay, I'll do the butterfly. So me being nervous in net, I still made every save. Thanks to the butterfly, I actually did, I actually did do a leg save. And then eventually, the goalies got to take shots at each other. But still, there was no goal. And honestly, here was the crappiest thing about those semifinals. Because we were going back and forth, back and forth in the shootout and not getting anywhere whatsoever, 
the refs decided to flip a coin. Like, are you kidding me? Flipping a coin. That's a terrible way to, to end a team's, uh, to end a team in the playoffs. So in the end, we won the coin toss. Sure, we were happy we won and we get to go on to the finals. But all of us were kind of disgusted at the fact that that it was won over a coin toss. It wasn't earned. Honestly, I would have rather preferred take the goalies away, shoot from center. I'd rather those kind of sh shootouts. So anyways, after the semifinals, we finally went on to the finals, and I believe we won the finals, uh, I think, 2 nothing. So yeah, that's uh, when I really decided that I guess I was a goalie. So anyways, later down the road, why this relates to how I ripped my pants is because when I entered high school, every lunch period I was so bored, I did not know what to do, I walked around the school every time, let's, let's face it, I was practically a loner. Sure, I had a few friends, but they always did their thing, they went home or did whatever. But me, I, I just walked around the school, enjoyed the weather, did whatever. Until one day, I saw a bunch of people out of the backfield playing soccer. So, for a couple days, I was out there just watching them play. Yeah, I was remembering the time I won the championship. <laughs> but yeah, I was just watching them play. So one day, they were pretty short on players. Uh, they, they noticed that I've been watching for the past couple days, and they're like, Hey, you! Yeah, you! Wanna play? I was like, heck yeah! So I started playing, I was out being a forward, trying to block shots and uh, take shots, even though I, I always sucked at taking shots. Especially when I have the ball and I'm like, I'm on a breakaway running with the ball. I, I, I freak out and I t try to take a shot and it goes wide or it goes over the net. Yeah, let's just say I, I, I'm not a forward. No, I'm not a forward whatsoever. So anyways, I played, I played soccer with them for a couple days, a couple weeks, or whatever, and eventually, um, I, I was in net. I was in goalie, I was making saves like no tomorrow, trying to act like a regular soccer goalie, but with a school, a high school that has uniforms, yes, I went to a high school that has uniforms, strike that, had, they're no longer a school. So wearing uniforms, I had to wear something like this, but either black, red, or white, with uh, the logo of the school. And I had to wear black pants. Either black dress pants or black jeans. That day, I decided to wear dress pants. So before I ripped my pants, I was playing goalie and the bell decided to ring. It was the end of lunch. But one of the guys, he, he just wanted to just take a couple shots before he ran inside. So I let him do it. I didn't care. But the bad thing is, I did a hockey goalie save. You know that goalie save where you're down on one leg and you have your and you have the other leg straight out. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. The one leg down, right onto the ground, and then the other leg just straight out. Feel me? That was the reason how why I ripped my pants. Because as soon as I did that save, all you hear is a shh. And I was like, uh-oh. The guy that took the shot was like, what happened? I'm like, I ripped my pants. And I looked down, saw how big that rip was. And I'm telling you, this rip, this rip was literally like from here all the way down to my knee. So the guy that I was practicing with, he saw that and started laughing. Thank God everyone else was off the field or else they'd all be laughing. But then I told him something else. I said to him, you know what's the, you know what's the worst part about this? He's like, what? I'm not wearing any underwear. Yeah, I was full out commando. No underwear, just pants. And I had this giant freaking rip in my 
scratch. And the worst part about it, I still had two classes to go. Sure, I could have decided to just skip class. But then again, I was just a young teenager. My mother would have freaking killed me. So, I went to class. I can't remember, I can't remember what the first class was. But I sure remember the second class because one of my good friends always sat beside me. I've known the girl since grade four. We both had the same class, that class, it was math, in grade nine. So yeah, like, so we, we were pretty good friends. So as I'm walking down the halls, I'm literally like grabbing onto my pants, trying to cover it, after looking like all gangsta and stuff. I walk, into, I walk into my class like that, and I sit right down and do the hardest thing that is really tough for some guys, and that's keep my legs closed. So I go over to my friend, and I'm like, I'm in a bad situation. And she's like, why, what, you, what did you do? I'm like, I ripped my pants. And I'm not wearing any underwear. And she's just like, she she takes a quick look, like, like what the? And I'm like, yep. And she's like, why don't you go home? I'm like, yeah, parents would kill me. And I kind of wish I could have a ride home, but I have to take transportation. And honestly, and I feel like a champ. Only two people knew I ripped my pants that day, which was the person that was taking shots on me and my friend that was sitting next to me. Other than that, no one else noticed. And I got away with it all without any embarrassment. So, yay me! Ha! So anyways, Puzzle Pieces, that is the story of how I ripped my pants. The only subtitle that would be in there is without underwear on. So if you like this story, hit that like button. I plan on doing a couple more stories. I still got tons right up in here. And if you want, why not share, subscribe, and uh, you know, maybe give me a few suggestions. I wanna do a lot of stuff in these videos. I already have another video in mind that is totally, 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 not like what I usually do. So anyways, puzzle pieces. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.